Let's get all comfy and have a chat. Yeah, I've done a lot this month. A lot of which <laughs> I can't talk about. Um, because some of it's for my secret project. Da -da -da. Which I will tell you about. As and when. <laughs> But I thought I'd talk to you about some of the finished objects I have. This comes out of um it's a it's a collar. Full collar folded down with a knitted border, lace border. And I'll show you uh, where I got the patterns from for this one but it's so cosy around the neck and you if you remember I bought this wool accidentally again when I was in Aberdeen it's the um I think it's got some merino in it but it's also got acrylic and it's by the Women's Institute and I knitted up a whole set of different things and it just it just, doesn't it? It just goes. It was perfect. So what I'd done was, I don't know if you remember a few, ooh, a month or two, a month or two back. Must have been, because I was in Aberdeen in October, that I was making a turban. And I'd got myself back into the lovely brioche knit. And so, in the end, I couldn't work out how to do this turban. So, in the end, when I, I decided to do it my way, because when I get out of the bath and I put a towel around my head, that's my idea of a turban, you know, where you twist it, put it over it, right. So, I did the same thing on the tur on my turban. see so it's just rolled around and sewn down yeah like that sewn down there so yes that is my my turban which i love and it's cozy and um i love the stitching i love the brioche stitching on it it makes it so much more squashier Yes, so I like that. So I knit that. And I also, using, I had so much of this yarn left, I went on to make another collar. Again, from the same um, designer. And um, you'll see pictures as I go along of them. And I'm using up some, what was it? It was the recycled um style craft dk and it's it's supposed to be a dk but to me a lot of the dk's these days seem to be more sport weight than d my imagination of dk was look see my hair sticking up come on sit down and um so i decided to um use this that I'd got left because it matches in with with this um the sleeve edging is this mixed with some pink pink cotton yarn I've got the same as the lace cardigan my pink lace cardigan so they all fit in together if you know what I mean um so this is goes on like so around your neck in fact i'll take this off see easy to take off isn't it this one's a little more difficult but there you go and it has a beautiful and it does doesn't it cover your neck i like this one as well on here with this this dress so these were all made 
to go with my knitted stash, stash busting dress. I've got hiccups now. Is there anything else going to go wrong? So then I still had more of this yarn left. So I made some little fingerless gloves again from the same designer. So I've made a little set using up all my scrap yarns. I'm just going to take this one off for the moment. This is great when you're outdoors because when it's cold, it's like... And I'll just put this one back on. There. There you go. I like that one too. I like them both. I like them all. I just... It's just... It was just so much fun when I finished them. Um, so those are the ones I'd done, turban. And but I've done a lot more. I talked a lot about my um projects I was still working on, and this one, as you remember. I've actually done the edging on the collar now. Everything's sewn in. Yes, it looks beautiful with that pink scarf too. And all I need now are pink buttons. I've done the buttonholes along this side. I've got some buttonholes ready there. I just need some pink buttons now. So that's on my list to do. But that is finished. The swinging hem jumper. Yeah, do like that. Um, I also was sewing up the ends on this one, the Fair Isle one. Well, it's not a Fair Isle one, it's a Scandi one. I used a pattern design out of um, a book by Lincoln Newman. Now, Lincoln Newman has also released a children's knits book, which you might like to find. I don't know if it's in English. I don't think she's done it in English. I noticed recently she's done done one in Finnish, which is great. That's okay. But she does do charting, which is helpful if you don't know the language. Yeah. So there you go. Now, the problem is, is I tried this on and I... It just was a bit too tight, so I went and I washed it and I pulled it out just to, because of the, and it's mainly because of the floats on the back of the, you know, of the knitting. My floats are nice. I'm going to take it off and show you. I like my floats, but it was just a little bit too tight. So I washed it and I stretched it a bit and that was okay, but... I hadn't followed my own advice and silly because I know it works. Oh yeah, my favourite bit of this is where all my float ends I plaited down that side so there was no sewing in. Great, no movement, it's just great. And see my floats are lovely, I'm liking my floats, see? Nice floats, but I think it was a bit too tight. And what I've learned since is a lot of people tend to do the um, Farrell's piece on bigger needles. So next time I will have to do, instead of four and a half mil, I'll have to use a five mil just for that part where I do the um, the the, fer the Farrell stitching. Yeah, so I'm pleased with that. But this point from here to here is too long. Now, I've told you in times past to measure your shoulder from your neck edge to, to about here. And mine is three and a half inches. It's what I generally use. 
But I didn't take my own advice. Silly, silly. And I did a four and a half, four and a half inch. So I've done one inch too many. So what I'm going to have to do, because it's not working, it's bunching up around my neck, is put a row of get a sewing needle and go down an inch. Oh, tickly, tickly. Go down an inch or even inch and a half and put a row of row of thread around there to pick up the stitches or people call it a lifeline so i'll put a lifeline in there and undo my stitching and work from that point work the ribbing from that point down an inch and a half inch inch and a half down so that it'll fit better around my neck but otherwise i am looking forward to wearing this one but it's it's not working whilst i have not sorted out that neck so although it's finished it's not finished <laughs> you know what i mean it has to be redone the other um, piece of work that I was doing at the ta the last time we, I think it was round about, um, oh, it was in December was the last time I showed you some of these, um, was the sideways knitting cardig knitted cardigan. And yeah, that is finished. It needs buttons again. I'm going to hunt for buttons. At the moment, I've got buttons, but I've got sort of all colours, but the one that would suit suit the garments I've been doing. So as you can see, the garment is all edged, all of it edged in the highlighter yarn, which I love. It's come out really well. It's edge to edge at the moment, but I have to say that I think I've, doing this, I think I've made some little, um, I think I made a little error at the front in that I might have used a tighter needle on one side than I did on the other. Mm, possibly. Again, that might just have to be stretched out slightly. I've done some little button loops on the edge there, just with crochet, because I crocheted edging all the way around. I ran out of yarn at some stage and had to... Because um, that's the apple by Stylecraft, but this isn't. This is the Apple by mm. West Yorkshire Spinners. But it was a DK and I thought I'd use that just to finish it off because that's all I had. I'd, and it's okay. It's okay. It's Unless you actually know. You don't know unless you know. So that is the side to side jacket. Yeah, I'm like, that's the back of it. I like that. That'll look nice with a dress, I think. And because I did a side-to-side -side jacket like that, I decided to design a little side-to-side -side baby jacket. Um, I've been doing a lot of baby knitting this last month, and I've done quite a sizable set of knits for a newborn and um, so I'm just going to get out the little side to side cardigan so here we go it's in crochet and it's side to side that's the buttonhole side 
and sleeves and I'd done a little pocket there but why on earth I didn't do a pocket there I don't know I must have forgotten to do it St strange um babies don't need pockets really much do they unless you're going to put a tissue in them so at the moment is a one one-sided pocket but um future designs will have two and it has a hood There you go, from the back as well, and which is angled up slightly to the front. So I made a lot of simple little jackets and cardigans, either in made quite a lot in crochet and um, some knitted ones. Some of them are designed by me, but others I've picked up from um, crochet baby crochet patterns so there's a mixture i am going to photograph them all once i put some buttons on and i've got some buttons for these i got these little i have had these for quite a while but i do love them and in different sizes uh, handmade with love there you go so i've got a lot of those uh, little wooden ones so I thought I'd use them so that will be my job today because I need to get going with that to finish it and send it out um, yeah so that's all there's a, a big bag they're all in sort of silvery grey big bag of them and I will photograph them and um, either put them here or um, either put them up on here or on Instagram if anybody's interested because I'm thinking that that's something I could do and um, I don't think making adult garments is cost effective for me um, to sell but I know um, that I would love to make a lot more of the baby clothes in different yarns. I'm going to try different yarns, but they've got to be washable. And we all know that acrylic is good for washing. It lasts longer. I have washed a lot of my acrylic clothes and they don't shrink. They don't stretch. They, they stay very stable um anything to do with wool though however may be different but i love all the little knitting for olives yarns and a lot of baby clothes are knitted in those um yarns but they're not going to be they're not i cannot sell those cheaply because of the cost of the yarn and getting them here to walk me unless I became a distributor of all those up here if you know what I mean <laughs> so yeah I've been a busy girl now um the last time I spoke to you I had got some new yarns all the way from Catalonia and I have been working on a design using the colors so I love the, I love stripes, always loved stripes. They're absolutely fabulous to knit for a start off. But um, I'm now come to the uh, point where I need to do the other side of this and then join for a cardigan. Or I might join it as a v-neck because I've not done a v-neck. For a while and i'm using a different edging as you can see it's the garter stitch edging with a three stitch i cord edge so i'm thinking do i do a v-neck style i might do instead of a cardigan but um 
this is part of my i'm gonna say it part of my my secret collection so it's a design that will come along um in amongst all of that so you've had a little little preview but keep watching because it's a Bit by bit, I shall introduce things. And I have a pile of things I finished upstairs. But yeah, I might leave that till next month. So yes, I've been very, very busy. Um, I've still got lots of things I haven't finished. Malky wants me to show you something. Yeah, just some minute. time ago, we were... I'm still working on this one in the Shetland Spindrift and I got some odd balls and I was doing the edge and the edge was is massive. I think this is going to be more like a cape. So I bought myself another circular needle, a nine mil, nine mil, number nine. 3.75 mil or 3.5 mil, whatever you want to call it. And um, I have now got, because it's so big, I've got it on these two needles and I sort of knit one half and then knit the other half. So I'm working down the edge of that, which is going to take a while. So I've put that on the back burner for a little, for a little bit along with one or two other little bits I've got going on in there. So they're, they're on the back burner for a minute. And uh, But I'm working through quite a bit of stuff here, quite a bit of stuff. I've started something else here and I can't remember what it was. Oh, yes. I've got a lot of this yarn left for the 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 Scandinavian one I was doing and so I thought I would try and knit a skirt to match I'm going to see how that goes I don't know if that's going to work or not but once I've finished with this little experiment and um decided what what I'm going to uh, whether I've got I've covered all aspects of the collection I want to do then I'll show you more um like I say it's going to involve a little trip to one of the local islands little islands and there's a very interesting story related to the history of these islands mysteries a story within a story i just would like to tell you how i would have liked to have seen that story so it's it's not based on truth it's based on possibilities so that's what i want to do therefore it's not going to be coming very soon <laughs> i've also started doing some work as you know i know this sun's in my face but hey you cannot miss sun this is lovely to get the sun you can see the color of my hair is different in the sun as well isn't it <laughs> i don't notice that until the sun comes out myself plans for the future and the next one video i would like to do is definitely knitting my Pinterest board. Um, I have Pinterest boards for a lot of things. I've been using Pinterest for a very, very long time and I've got quite a collection of ideas on there. Um, if you want to see what I get up to, go to my the links at the top of the channel page. Um, or I will put it in the description as well. But um, I would love to knit one of my Pinterest boards. So therefore, 
I will be showing you a bit of that because that these will be my plans, future plans for 2024. But I will not be knitting 2024 because I've already done that. I am knitting 2025. I'm always a year ahead of myself. And why? Well, I'll explain that in my next video. Well, I'm going to go and have a cup of tea now. Um, hope you enjoyed that. If you would like me to knit something, um, knit something that you would like to do yourself, but want to see someone else do it first, um, put it in the comments. I enjoy your comments, as you know. I, I often, um, respond to everybody who, who writes to me in the comments, um, cause I enjoy your feedback. So if there's anything you would like me to knit, would you put it in the comments? Um, if there's anything you'd like me to try, I've knitted a few of, um, Petite Knits items. I've knitted a novice slipover, which I made into a novice top, basically with sleeves. Um, I've knitted the um, simple Sophie scarf. Is there anything else you'd like me to try? I mean, actually, in the middle of knitting the November jacket, that hasn't got any further as yet because I've been doing a lot of these other projects so <clears throat> that's that's on the way to being done yeah if there's anything you'd like me to try just pop it in the comments because I, I like to do things that you're interested in as well not just what I'm interested in I suppose that's my niche but, you know, that doesn't open it up to what other people want to knit and seem, seem to be knit and what it turns out when the, um, when you've followed the pattern or if you've not followed the pattern, do you want me to adapt a pattern to suit me? Or, something you would like it to be altered to yeah why not let's do something interesting like that this year it sounds a bit garbled to me i'm sorry if i sound a bit garbled it's me thinking it through you see i don't i should maybe write notes but i never write notes I'd probably not follow them anyway, if you know what I mean. <laughs> right, I'm going to go and have a brew. I've got a lot of things to do today. I've got the buttons to put on some of these little baby things. And um, I will then go and uh, um, get them ready for going. Um, I've got my end of year administration to do and then i've got another job another admin job to start tomorrow uh, anyway that's a little bit more for this month and i don't uh, dependent on what happens in the next couple of weeks or so it's um i'm sort of putting up videos that are in inspired by what i'm doing at the time so we'll see how that goes. <laughs> uh, if I have a, if I tidy out the office and I make a, you know, um, I don't know if I'm going to make a video of that, but we'll see. <laughs> so there you go. So see you very soon. And of all, as always, keep knitting.
yo sé que te voy.